After missing out on the playoffs his rookie year by one game due to a pick six in overtime of the season finale last year, Chicago Robinson looked poised to have a breakout sophomore season. Even though he looked great in preseason action with this young offense, he would have more pressure on his shoulders this year than last year as he was expected to make the playoffs or the front office said they would pursue a new quarterback. But he had some help with two new offensive rookies this year. Rookie running back Rahome Mays, who would be a week one starter for Washington in the backfield, and rookie receiver Jared Winfield, who would replace Santana Moss, who retired in this past offseason. And that would bring us to the very first game of season number two here in Chicago Robinson's sophomore campaign. As they travel down south to take on the Saints, down 3 0 early on, hit as he throws. That would be completed to Hankerson for a first down. Second and inches now. Play action to the rookie maze. Robinson rolling out. He's going to check down to Scaife, who has the first down. Third and five. This could be the last play of the first quarter. Another check down to Hankerson for the first. As we move to the second quarter, still down 3 0. Robinson across the middle on the slant route. That's going to be completed to the rookie, Jared Winfield. His first career reception, as that would set up third and goal to the end zone. And Scaife has it diving in the back for a touchdown. Now down 14 to 7 nearing the end of the third quarter and another sack for the Saints defense. Hopefully that's not another problem this year. Robinson and his offensive line have to deal with as Winfield with a big reception. That would convert for a first down. Third down again. Pressure gets to Robinson. Forces an incomplete. And New Orleans would end up going up by two possessions now. 21 to 7 here late in the fourth. As we are under two minutes. A minute 40 in counting. Second and 10. Robinson back to throw to the right side. That's completed to Winfield and there's his first NFL career touchdown. The rookie would put us on the board late and we would have one last chance to send this game into overtime. Robinson back to throw to the end zone and that's going to be knocked incomplete. The clock would hit triple zeros and Washington would end up losing their week one matchup here to the Saints on that last play. 21 to 14 would be your final score. So after a heartbreaking loss in week one, it was time to bounce back for Washington. After all, Robinson couldn't afford to lose too many games this season. His job literally depended on it and making the playoffs this year. As that would bring us to game two of sophomore season here for Robinson against St. Louis. He would complete that to Hankerson for a first down, third and two play action to Mays. Pressure coming, they get to him in the backfield. A loss of 10 on that play. It's looking like an offensive line might be another issue for Robinson and the offense this year as he scrambles for the first this time. Washington's offense wants to get Robinson a little more involved on his feet this year as that's going to fall incomplete. We'll see if that's something they work into their game plans a little more than they did last year as Armstrong holds on to that for a first down. Down 7-3 to three here in the third quarter. A minute 40 and counting to go against St. Louis. Robinson, that's completed to Scaife. First and goal to go from the six. Under center, Robinson back to throw. He's going to the end zone. He finds Armstrong as Washington would take the lead. Looking to put this game out of reach for St. Louis. That's going to set up first and goal from the three-yard line now. Robinson back to throw on second and goal. He's scrambling. He throws off balance and he completes that for another touchdown. As that would seal the deal for Washington as they're going to get their first victory of the season here in week two against the Rams as they take this one to improve to one and one. The next week at practice felt great for Robinson in the offense. They got their first win of the year, and the offense was finally starting to click. Just at the right time, too, as Washington had a rivalry matchup against last year's division winner, the Cowboys, here at home. First and 10, play action. Robinson back to throw. He's going across the middle. That's going to be completed to Armstrong. He gets behind the Dallas defense. He could take this all the way, and he will do just that to open up this game. 7-0 early on. Washington leads as Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up, take it himself, and he has the first down. Third and six as we move to the second quarter now. Robinson back to throw from under center. Left side completes it to the rookie Winfield. First and goal. Dropping back to throw. He's going strikes to Armstrong. He has it in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. As we go up 14-0, just over a minute to go here. That's going to be completed deep to Banks. Down to the 11, under a minute to go here. Robinson 
into the end zone, and it's Hankerson for a touchdown. Washington goes up 21-7 to as we move to the second half. Right side, that's completed to Armstrong, just short of the end zone. Down to the four, first in goal to go. Robinson to Winfield, and the rookie has another touchdown. As Washington now up 28-7. to Robinson having a great day so far. He's looking for another touchdown as that would be his career high of five as Robinson is gonna get it there second touchdown to the rookie Jared Winfield as Washington is going to walk away with a big time victory over the Cowboys here and Robinson having himself a career day with five touchdown passes and that would be enough to get him player of the game award that win and career performance of five touchdowns felt great for Robinson the following week at practice the entire team was locked in. They needed to continue to execute this type of play the rest of the season to make the playoffs. They would look to continue that at Carolina as they travel to take on the Panthers. Second and 10. Robinson back to throw here in the second quarter, avoiding one tackler. He's rolling out, gets it off just in time. That's going to be completed to Scaife. A beautiful heads-up play by Robinson, keeping his eyes downfield as I'm fourth and inches. Pressure coming. They're going to get to him. Turnover on downs. As we move to the second half, not much happening on offense here, and they're going to get to Robinson again. Another sack. First one of the day for Johnson as that brings up third and 17. Pressure gets to him again, just short of the first down. Just over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Third and six, Robinson's going to step up, take it himself. He has the first on his feet. 39 yards so far for him on the ground as he's looking to go through the air here to the back of the end zone. Knocked in complete. And they've only been able to put up a field goal so far nearing the end of the fourth quarter here. Stepping up, Hankerson has it inside the five. First and goal from the two. Robinson back to throw. Rolling out to his right. He's going to throw. And Hankerson has it for a touchdown. And they would go for two to look to make it a three-point game. And that would be completed and converted. But ultimately, they would not be able to get the onside kick recovery and they would drop this one to Cam Newton and the Panthers, 14-11. to So through the first four games, Washington is sitting at 2-2 two and two in second place of the division. Not the best of starts, but Robinson himself is off to a much improved start from his rookie year statistically.